Welcome back, everyone, to a extra special long episode of Rolling. I'm in Sedic with me again as Blank Tester. Mm-hmm, here I am. And today we're going to the final level, downtown Sydney. As you saw, John Julio is back in his default outfit. I kind of like to do that. You know, where you could change up the outfit, I put him back in the default for back the last classic, level. Yeah. Just like for the first level. We're coming back around. You it's know, I, I do that too, actually. In, in, uh, I've started doing that in, in games where you like you get to change up the outfit throughout, yeah. and then at the very end you go back to like a really classic look. Yeah. You know? It's like, it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, downtown Sydney. They're bringing the biggest level to us. The largest, you know, the most technical. You're going to be riding around, getting big air, doing big grinds on signs and such. You know, I do have to say, though, parts of this level come dangerously close to taking too long to get one objective done. That's always a worry in these kinds of games where they start having really involved objectives that take a bunch of your time. Because so you if you mess runs. something up, you got to do quite a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got to restart a bit. And you might not get that flow of being able to ride around and get a lot of stuff done if you know what you're doing. But... You know, it still doesn't get to the level of other games like TJ Lavin or mm. some of like the Dave Mira 2 challenges. So I'm, I'm giving it a pass. I'm just saying it edges a bit close there. You know what? We asked Tyler Lasagna, like, if there were any really long grinds or, or objectives in the Tony Hawk games that kind of approached that. And he brought up like Skatopia and Thug 2 uh -huh. sort of had s some of that... Uh, Maybe where you had to do a really long grind and, and really be able to balance well, because that's also one of my main weaknesses in these games. I'm not great at handling a balance meter. And that was also kind of the finale of Thug 2, so... Yeah. You know, I'm, I got a question. Okay. How would you feel about mm -hmm. a skating game like this that had, like, a collect-a-thon aspect to it, where there's, like, lots of objectives around the level? Mm-hmm. Like, not, like, lots of unique objectives. There's a bunch of unique objectives, like it has here, plus just collectibles scattered along, all over the level. Like, 50 coins to pick up, that kind of thing. So... Goofy. I just realized Goofy does that. I Fuck. think that's my answer. Fuck. No, I think, to, to, to talk about that a bit more seriously, I think it would have to be more open world. I don't think there could be a time limit. That okay, or yeah, that's any you collect in a certain run stay collected and count up towards you having collect them all. But no way, if you're going to put 50 something in a level, no way would someone only have three minutes to get them all. Fair. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, which, you know, skating open world, I mean, the Tony Hawk games did kind of transition to that in American Wasteland Project 8. Because I was thinking, ground. actually, if you kept the time limit and then also had it so that the collectibles collect and then next time you come in, they're not there anymore, um, then maybe you would have more of a feeling of accomplishment as you, like, take... You know, you take three minutes on a run and you only accomplish two of the major objectives, but you collected, like, 20 of the, the small, you know, collect-a-thon kind of tokens... So maybe give you fe more of a feeling of accomplishment there. Right. I don't know. I can see, though, you kind of running into trying to find uh, That's some true. of the out-of-the-way stuff. You get 49 out of 50, and you have no idea where that last one is. Right, and then you have three minutes, and if you don't find it, you start back at the yeah. <laughs> start with another three minutes. So I can see there being kind of downsides to yeah. that. You know, and, and, and sure, sometimes when they hide five, you know, parts of the logo or five other things, you might be wondering, where is that? Or where, you know, where right. is something? But you know that they designed it with having three minutes to get them all in mind. Yeah, that's So true. once you know where something is, you'll know that hopefully it's not too out of the way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Sydney has got that bottom area at the start. But then, you know, these top roofs, these top building areas. Um, and you saw me struggle to get enough speed to get on this wire. This is kind of what I'm talking about. You have to do pretty long Ooh. grind to get over for the transfer. Wow. And luckily, you don't have to land afterwards. You know, uh, I've always wanted to go to Australia. Yeah? And I never have. Dang. And uh, I'm curious how... I mean, I just don't... I don't really know what Sydney's, like, city life is like. 
Maybe this is a, a thing in Sydney. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Like, is this sculpture in Sydney? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean... I mean, probably not, not a good idea to ride on it, but... Right. Is I, it art? How representative of the actual places are some of these levels? Yeah. Did they take inspiration you could see, or was it uh, kind of just put together? I mean, they did have NorCal and SoCal, and... Yeah. Those levels were I was definitely... recently in both of those places, and the thing is, like, NorCal and SoCal are both just, like, basically any other part of America. Right. You know, there's nothing... SoCal was kind of based... In this in this game, SoCal was kind of based on a, uh, a, a school-type right. environment. NorCal, I guess, was also a school. Yeah, kind of. Um... It was just kind it's of... It's just like, yeah, and, like, the business park... Yeah, Milk. It was supposed to be... In California or Georgia, or one Georgia. of the two, right. and that's the thing. It, it was all just kind of generically right. American, right? But so, like, uh, I don't know, this place, Station Milpitas, was a more uh, uh, singular area, right? Does Milpitas have a train station like that? Uh, suburbs Encinitas. Does yeah. anything in there really scream Encinitas? I don't know. You know, I, I guess like derelict factory, Michigan. Okay, well, we know what they're that's getting at. That's pretty typically Yeah, we Michigan. know what they're getting at. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we went to... Where else we go? Sao Paulo? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know. I don't know. Like, the thing is, like, Australia's always been very Western, you know? Right. So, I wouldn't surprise me if Sydney just looked like any metropolitan city in any other Western country. Right. You know? Um... Because it doesn't, it just like the United States, it just it doesn't have hundreds and thousands of years of history of tight roads and no space for you to put buildings. You right. Know? Like if you go to Europe, a lot of those roads are small and and like well, not a lot of them, but like the roads tend to be kind of thinner, especially mm -hmm. in smaller cities. Uh, you know, and so we we don't have that experience here in the United States. And I'm a, I would assume that Australia would probably be similar, where the cities have a lot of room to expand because they only got built after the advent of the Industrial Revolution. Right. You know. Right. Man. Culture. <laughs> yeah. Society. Yeah. yeah. We get into those deep topics here on the Insetic Channel when we're jamming, jamming the funny words, right. as we do. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. As we do on this channel. We do open our mouths and the funny spills out. <laughs> okay. Good goofs, good gaffes. And then and then after we talk about serious stuff, then I'll talk about something in the game for yeah, like let's 30 hear it. seconds. Okay. So this, you know, it's the final level. They're going bigger and better, and this final pro challenge is intense actually. You gotta do grind after grind after grind, and a lot of them are the single direction buttons, but it's still like, whoa, I gotta do this, and then this, and then this, and I'm doing some awesome line. You know, I'm jumping rail to rail, I'm dropping Ooh. down wall rides, cool grinds. It's gonna look awesome in the end in the of replay, the yeah. replay. Yeah. Wow, jeez, that was that was intense. <laughs> yeah, you got, really have to keep up uh, and kind of react. That was Blake Dennis's tricks, right? Uh, uh was that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Blake Dennis. I wonder, I wonder how Blake Dennis is doing. Yeah. I assume he's real. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because, like, John Julio's real. So. Right, right. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder how, how John Julio's doing. Yeah, I mean, I... I should have reached out to him. Let me see if he's on Twitter. I looked him up, you know, to make sure that we were saying his name right, right. at the start. And, yeah, I mean, he he's done a couple podcasts and such recently. Shit, man. Um, he, you know, Let's guests see. on other... I don't think he runs any of them. Oh, you. I don't know if you can call this destruction, but we're opening the station a little early. That, you know, train was just parked, so we're sending it on its way. That could lead to destruction. Right, if... Depending on if anyone's piloting it. <laughs> if, if, if they weren't ready for that. John Julio. Right. Oh, but, uh, now that we can do that, that photographer trick that wanted us to do the acid soul on, like, this railing. Uh-huh. Now you can ride the railing all the way over there and do the oh. acid soul trick. So it's kind of like, oh, that's how you that's how you get there. Top acid soul, my bad. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it, it, it was just a scratch, just a little side swipe. I'm seeing John Julio them for them skates and them goods. Okay. And them skates sounds like skates. 
Yeah. Right? So that might be the John Julio. I mean. Yeah, I think there's only one John Julio. There's a bunch on Twitter. Oh. Santa oh, Ana, on California. Twitter. I can see. Is this him? I think so. I think so. All right. Well. He tweeted three hours ago. I should. Uh, <laughs> I should hit him up. So well, I, 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 I don't think we really have many videos to get him on for rolling. We only have a bonus Yeah, but we could do like a bonus interview or something. Oh, uh, <laughs> not that great an interview. Yeah, well, you know what? We don't have that much to ask him. Right. <laughs> It'll be like a five-minute interview of like, hey, how you doing? And he's like, I'm doing good. What, what did you guys want to talk to me about? You guys got anything to promote? Uh, yeah, I'm doing them whatever. All right, thanks, John. Cool. Uh, I, I played you in a video game a while ago. Oh, yeah, cool. I was in a video I would, cool. You know, I would be curious to know if he, like, n knows or cares about any of the video games that right. he's been in. Right, I mean... Like, maybe he's a gamer. Maybe he, he knows, you know, he plays a lot of games. But, you know, like, if he doesn't, does he care that you, his, his name and face were in a game that almost didn't get released at all? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, a ton of people go up to Tony Hawk and are like, oh, I know you from the video game, but, like... Has anyone gone up to Rick McCrank and gone like, yeah, you were in those skating games, you know? Like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we would we'd never have known about Rick McCrank probably if he wasn't in those games. Uh, and that's that's so sad, you know? Cuz he's our he's our extreme sports deity. Yeah, that's true. All right. So, we've uh, we've done some cool objectives. So, now we're going to do one that sends us all around the city. Oh, I thought you were gonna say, we're gonna do one that's not cool. <laughs> you always do that. You always do that. You always think I'm gonna turn Well, I, yeah, I always think it's gonna turn into a contrast. So, so we grab the bag, we grab the mysterious bag, and now we've got to find the phone booths. Yeah, at the very beginning of the level, it said you gotta run the gauntlet. Run the gauntlet. So this needs, you need to know kind of you need to know the level and what they're talking about. So this said, take it up to the Ima Plaza or something. So there's Ima Plaza, and there'll be the phone booth over here for that. It'd be kind of nice if you could hear the phone booth ringing as right. it got closed. But... Right, right. Yeah, I mean, this took a little bit of trial and error my first time playing through the level. Mm -hmm. Again, these are always at least my second times playing through. They were usually my third by the end because I wanted to make sure I knew how to consolidate the goals and uh, which ones to do on a certain run right? to keep the time down. God damn. But yeah, so now ride down to the main street again. But yeah, this is a pretty cool way to get you to explore the level. Uh, you know, I always you know, I always like when uh, these, these games and these levels give you stuff in every single part of it and don't just have big empty areas with nothing to do. Yeah. And definitely, like, once we get up onto the the rooftop over on the right, because it wanted us to get on top of that building over there. Mm. Um, you know, sure, you can, in free play, you can find your way around, but, but you know, it's just a little, a little, a little incentive during the main game. Damn. And a logo piece. Yeah. Now I'm just thinking about what I would ask. Uh, <laughs> John Julio. John Julio. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I, I could... Is this something I'll, I'll we... Re I'll reach out to him. Is this something we pull the audience for? Well, no, he has... I mean, he has a contact on his... On his... On his uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not thing. really... That's the thing, you know, I'm not really part of these extreme sports scenes. I'm not a skateboarder, I'm not a rollerblader, I'm not a BMXer. Sure. I just played the games as a kid. Yeah, but I mean, like, uh, you know, you've got a, a sizable audience, and your audience does... Uh, well, not, like, huge, but you do have an audience, and your audience... A lot of them are probably extreme sports people, too. Right. So, they're, you know, maybe, maybe we could just do, you know, just shout, shout them out kind of thing. I mean, we are already shouting yeah, them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his website's themskates.com. Yeah. No sponsorship or anything. It's just, a, you know, John Julio is the guy we played, and if you're right. interested, he has, a, I guess, All a right. skate company. So, we rode the bag around. Mr. Scorpio thanks us. Uh -oh. And uh, <gasps> we're going to... No way. We're just gonna let this play out. Holy fuck! 
Yeah. We engaged in some uh, illicit, suspicious activity. And then we caused a little bit of a, a crash. Scene. Yeah, a scene. John Julio might have just gotten some dirt on his hands. He might have just killed, like, three people. <laughs> Minimum. Yeah, yeah. How, how do you feel about that now, John? You're... Y- You're a murderer, John. <laughs> yeah, you, you. This this bag run you thought now, what was about this? so fun was actually. You know, how how would you feel about this? The FBI contacts you, and says, John Julio is a suspected murderer, and we need you to get the information out of him. Oh jeez. By inviting him onto your YouTube channel. Oh jeez. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> getting an oh. interview with him. Oh. And that will that then then you need to ask the right questions to get him to confess to murder. Right. And then you do that. This seems like an onion article. You know, one of those choose your own adventures that they run. Like, yes. Like the FBI knows but can't prove this this famous rollerblader is actually a murderer. You are interviewing him for something. Try and get the evidence out of him. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we put the fire out. We're, you know, we 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 made up for our mistakes. Mm-hmm. That mistake, that one. Yeah, we put someone's life out as well, probably. Yeah, but. you probably put the driver of the car for uh-huh. sure. Uh huh. Um, if there are any passengers in the car, potentially the the truck driver. Well, I think that truck was just parked. Well, his career is over. <laughs> hey, boss, you'll never believe it. Some crazy rollerblader caused, you know. Well, actually, he wouldn't have seen that. So, hey, boss, you'll never believe it. Some some car drove right into my truck and blew it up. That's interesting. You're fired. I guess I was carrying literal explosives. In yeah, the well, you know what? You you should be careful with that. Why yeah. did you leave it parked on the side of the road? You're fired. Yeah, yeah. I, as president of the Acme TNT Corporation, <laughs> have to fire you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim. You've served us well, but you're fired. Yeah, you're fired. Damage control, dang. Wow. Yeah. Well. And then, of course, they have to release a press, you know, do a press, yeah, press release or whatever. Press thing, or it's like this was completely unexpected. Yeah. We had no idea it could have led to this. We did everything right, and now, now that we know that, mm-hmm. we've fixed all the problems we had. Right. Right. And you go, hey, wait, what? We had two massive weak spots, uh, both uh, one on the entirety of the left side of our tanker and one on the entirety of the right. If any car crashed into it, it would just blow up. It would just blow up, and now we've got that fixed. Right. Yeah. Except, of except we did nothing wrong. Right. Right, so right. nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong. We just fixed everything fixed. that might have been but wrong. But we fixed it, yes. Yeah, nothing was wrong, we just fixed it. Dang, so so John led to, led to greater public safety as well. No. He's having a really uh, prolific day. Yeah. Yeah. Some things to sleep on for tonight. I guess, yeah. All right. So, got, went around and got all the logo pieces. That was another kind of tough. Uh, trying to grind up onto the sides of the walkways yeah, to jump shit. over to the other wires is kind of tough because obviously that kills a lot what of What a trick here. Jeez. Yeah, and, and if you need to get points, again, you can do an awesome big grind combo with all the planters and back and forth using those unity spins to keep a lot of your speed. Shit. Oh. Um, yeah, hold on. We pulled our headphones out. Not like it's, um, not like, not like we're missing a lot. I fucked that up. Professionalism. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Haha, <laughs> yeah, we're totally... Haha, <laughs> yeah. We've been doing this for years, and I just kicked the wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, unfortunately, that wasn't enough for the ill score. Oh. Because, like I said, you gotta get a million points. You Remember, did two million in that alien ship before, so... Right, right, but we don't have an alien ship with reduced gravity and yeah. half pipes really close to each other. But we do have some back and forth, and back and forth. Again, grind switch-ups, the unity spins. And you also have John Julio on your side. Yeah, John Julio has the power of skates and spinning on his side. Ill score. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I trick so much, I'm not even gonna let you see all of it. Wow. So another 2.5. Two yes. Dab, 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 dab. <sighs> wow. All right. Is that's, that it? That's that's all of them? Yeah, that's that was the uh, last challenge for Sydney. 
We unlocked the credit sequence, but it's got licensed music, so we're just gonna jump past it. Mm, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I, I, I'm thinking I could probably stream this game, and maybe I could do some things because it does have a lot of uh, movies as well. Oh yeah. You know, movie like a Bale's montages, of course, or some Ryder movies. Again, all of those have so have songs from the game soundtrack. Um, oh, custom parks. Yeah, that's the thing though. I I don't have the ROM with me, mm. and I. Yeah, I, I don't know how you're going to make me a custom I... park. I guess there might be a way for me to, like, make it on my end and then send you the custom park right. file that you drop in. Right. Well, but I don't know how that would... Right. So, the photo shoots. You know, we had a photo shoot in each level, and so now we can see what those photographers captured. Like, this was when I was doing that sick grind, you know, actually up the stair. Oh. Really. Uh, so, yeah. Except, uh, the one in Florida crashes my emulator, so we're not gonna be able to see that one. Wow, okay. <laughs> I know. Uh, but SoCal School, what was that, and... Okay. Oh yeah, that. Like, and you could see all the outfits that I used. Yeah. So it really did save them for each, uh, That's very cool. For each rider. Now, the shots aren't super great. Like, yeah. you're always pretty small. 50-50.com? 50, yeah, yeah. Maybe do some of these websites still exist. Some of these rollerblading gear websites from decade and a half back. B Mag, was that a real magazine? I assume, yeah, probably was. Yeah, probably like a main sponsor. Yeah. This game. Dinawheels.com. I think that's Dyna. Oh, wheels. Sorry, yes, Dyna. I see that. But like, why are we so small in these? We were yeah. miniature. We were child-sized on that rooftop. <laughs> these are so far away. As it's, well. They're trying to get like a sense of the scale, but the fact that it's smaller than your screen and it's on your screen, and like you know, if you were holding oh, the that magazine, that one's pretty close. That is very close. And yeah, yeah. If you were holding the magazine, it wouldn't look so small. But I like, guess so. It's scaled down because it's on your. Computer screen, which is and showing a YouTube video, which is showing runners promo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, I was listening. Yeah, no, uh, uh, so <laughs> we're also going to check through all the tricks because there are, were a bunch of tricks that I never assigned, mm. you know, because you would get more basic level grinds and and such you would get more advanced level tricks as well and i wouldn't swap those out that much unless a photo shoot needed a certain trick uh trick and some maybe uh an ill special trick or two that i just got so yeah when you do them in the menu here you can see your guy go to the animations for them oh that's you nice. can do yeah, da, 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 that's a very da, good look oh. oh shit yeah, so that's cool. You can kind of see what these are. Um, that's pretty dope. Yeah, like the Misty Flip Brainless. That that look back air was especially kind of weird. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 1080? Yeah, we unlocked the 1080 as one of the last uh, advanced flip tricks. The 1260. 1260. The Indian backflip. Actually, that was the cross Indian, but... Damn. Yeah, yeah. Some kind of, kind of glancing through the animations. Yeah, the base, the base grab tricks stay the same. Yeah, but there's a lot That's more. A lot of animation. Yeah, there's a lot more ways to grab your skate, grab your feet in different ways than I had thought of. Yeah. Some of them look a little similar to each other. Sure. Like that Gumby trick, if anything, looked crazier than the near mute. Yeah. But the near mute was the was the ill trick. But yeah, all the stalls as well. I like the hand plant ones. I don't like just the stalling yeah. on your skates. Um, and yeah, in the switch ups, yeah, you could actually use any grind you'd unlocked. So you can switch up into a bunch of ill grinds. Oh. <laughs> Uh, cool. If you really wanted to, uh, to get all the points and such, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, looking at that picture of John Julio in that thing, I think that is the same John. Julio. I believe so. So I should reach out to him. So yeah, uh, that was it for the main rolling videos. But there will be a bonus video as well because there's some secret characters, basically skins, uh, to show off some some cool things there. Maybe some 
movies or character movies. Like I said, the problem is that if it pulls in the game soundtrack, you never know if it's going to pull a copyright track or, or one of the, the ones that I'm probably safe in playing. Um, so we'll see about that. But I'd definitely be down to maybe stream this game some. I mean, I picked John, who who was one kind of skating class, but there were the vert characters and the street characters as well. Um, so maybe some slightly different goals in some of the levels. And also just rolling is an enjoyable game to play. So we'll have to see what I, what I do to close this game out. Uh, but thank you all for watching the main part of it. And I hope to see you next time.